Let's talk about Jesus' big question. He repeatedly said this. He said, where are all those that should be returning and giving thanks? This is one of the most important spiritual things that we can do, is to show gratitude. No duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. In Hebrews 12, verse 28, it says, Since we receive a kingdom that can't be shaken, let us show gratitude, by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. For most of us, life has become very busy and, at times, very complicated. And we have many countless responsibilities, some of which begin before sunrise and many of which end long after sunset. Amid the rush and the hush uh, and the absolute crush of our daily activities, of our daily grind, it is easy to lose sight of our blessings we find that we have stress, and stress is accumulative. And pretty soon, we're so stressed out, that's all we can think of. And therefore, life becomes a hellish thing instead of a heaven. When we forget to slow down and to give thanks for the gifts that we have been given, we rob ourselves of spiritual power. And we rob ourselves thus of opportunities to to see the good in life again and to show gratitude to God for the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. We can either rush through the day and do so with scarcely a word of thanksgiving or we can slow down and give thanks. Khalil Gibran offered this simple advice, wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving. (laughs) When we follow that kind of advice, gratitude will bring its own reward, but not its only reward. I tell you, life can be sweet, and this is the key by being grateful constantly for everything. God bless you.